Hello, Ness Tilson here. Here's a quick video to show you how to set up these sort of legs underneath a cabinet. Here we have a sort of little shaped, triangular shaped legs, tapered legs, made of two parts. We can see that there is a, if we look in transparent view, we can see that there is a two part mitered leg here. And this leg here is actually just placed underneath the cabinet. We can, it could be screwed or glued or whatever fix, fixing you want underneath the cabinet. How do we set that up? Well, let's, let's, go, let's close our cabinet here and I'll just show you how we set it up from scratch. Let's just start a new cabinet here. Let's uh, put this cabinet up at an elevation of say 150 mil. 150 mil. Let's put a plinth underneath here. So let's put a plinth and set it back say 20 mil all the way around. We're going to put a root plinth all the way around this cabinet. And now we're going to have a look at our cabinet and we have our we have a mahogany plinth underneath our cabinet. Now let's just take this, let's explode the cabinet and let's just take a, the front plinth here and create a surface split. So I'm going to edit structure, surface split. Let's put the surface split, let's make two surface splits, let's give an orientation of um, say 80 degrees for one of them and let's individualize our parameters so let's take the first distance from the edge here to our split here and let's give this distance make it a distance from that edge and not proportional to that edge and let's give it a position of say 60 mil so here we have 60 mil from you can see the arrow hit from the edge of our panel to, up to the split. Now let's take the second panel split, which is this distance here. Let's change its um, orientation to 100 degrees. So that's uh, actually sloping in the other direction. Let's change its op distance, not from the edge here, but the opposite distance from this edge. And let's put the same, which was 60 millimeters. So now we have our two cuts, if you want, in our panel, which are which will cut out for our legs. If I go OK now, this should be OK. And now all I have to do is take this middle panel and let's just put the um, material in a nil material, that is in virtual material, and we have our leg here. Now let's take this particular structure, copy the structure, and paste the structure onto the sides, paste the structure onto the sides, and paste this structure onto the back. And now we have our legs. So look underneath. And here we have our cabinet with our tapered legs, our four tapered legs. That was quite easy and fast. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful, this little video. And um, hope for that uh, to be seeing you soon in another video. Goodbye.